Hey guys, how's it going? This is Josh with TechZone UK. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can enable the F8 key to be enabled when you're booting up into uh, Windows 8. Now, normally when you come into Windows 8, you'd have to come down to the bottom left-hand corner. I'll see if I can get up here. Uh, you have to go into Settings, and then you'd have to go to uh, Change PC Settings here, and then I think it is General then you have to go to here to go to advanced startup you have to come all this way into windows just to get to the f8 advanced startup screen so basically you can get into safe mode now what i want to show you how to do is how you can get around doing that um, and so you can just keep on pressing f8 uh, on your keyboard to get into the advanced setup mode now this will probably add maybe like two seconds to your boot time i think um, but I'm going to show you how to do it anyway because this can be really handy if you're trying to you know, work on a machine and I'll show you how to disable it as well um, so it's really easy uh, to sort uh, to do really so basically you come down to start here um, I'm on Windows 8 um, I've got a video on how you can get the start screen but if not just go to the um, start screen here type in CMD right click it and go to run as administrator Hit yes here or if you've got the start menu just type in CMD right click run as administrator there and what we're going to do is once we're in the system32 directory we're going to want to type the following we're going to type in bcd edit uh, forward slash uh, set then we're going to do the curly bracket there and we're going to type in default and we're going to do the other curly bracket space uh, boot menu uh, policy and then we're going to do uh, legacy like so so basically that's uh, bcd edit um, and then basically forward slash set default boot menu policy hit enter and once we type that you can see it says the operation completed successfully so now what we can do is we can come down to our charms menu here and we can go to settings power uh, restart uh, when it gets to the um, the reboot menu we're going to keep on tapping F8 and see if we can access the advanced um, boot up settings um, just by pressing F8 alright so the machine's reset and keep on tapping F8 and there we go we are now into the advanced boot options menu as you can see it says choose advanced options for Windows 8 so obviously here we can come into safe mode, we can access it with command prompt, we can you know come into basically whatever we want, you know, all the same um pretty much as it used to be with Windows 7. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start Windows normally here and I'm gonna show you how to uh disable uh this option. So obviously once you've enabled it and you've fixed PC or you don't want it anymore, I'm gonna show you what commands you need to run in command prompt again to disable this option. Alright, so once Windows 8 started up again, we're going to come down to Start, go CMD or Command Prompt, right click Run as Administrator, and go Yes here. Now basically, we're going to run the same command as before. Um, so that was BCD Edit forward slash Set uh, Default and then uh, Boot Menu Policy. But instead of um, the other one which we used to run, um, which was legacy, uh, we're just going to type in here standard. And as you can see, that's now completed successfully. And now when we reboot the machine, we'll be back to normal um, and we won't be able to press F8. So what I'll do is I'll put the two lines of code that you'll need in the description so you can see them. Uh, obviously, if you didn't see what I mean, um, but obviously also I'll put a caption up on the screen so you know which command I was typing as well. So um, thank you very much for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, then give it a like. And best of all, if you want to see more from my channel, then please don't hesitate to subscribe. And if you've got any comment or questions or want to give me some feedback, then don't forget to drop a comment below. And I'll try my best to get back to them for you. So like I said, thank you very much for watching. Take care.